Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe von Velo TV. In dieser Ausgabe möchte ich mit Ihnen auf unsere erfolgreiche Industriekonferenz 2022 mit dem Motto Building Bridges, we stay connected zurückblicken. Krieg, Klimawandel, Coronavirus-Pandemie, Energieknappheit und Rezession. Weltweit jagt derzeit eine Krise die nächste. Besonders die sogenannten Sandwich-Staaten wie Länder in Europa oder in der Pazifikregion müssen Chancen und Risiken im geopolitischen Spannungsfeld zwischen den USA und China genau abwägen. Mit rund 250 hochrangigen Gästen aus Wirtschaft, Wissenschaft und Politik haben wir daher Lösungen für eine sichere und nachhaltige Zukunft diskutiert. Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the Velo Industry Conference 2022. So what we can fairly state is that 30 years of hyperglobalization seem to be over. But what we will also see is that new forms of corporations will appear and we will see the formation of new alliances between states on a bilateral basis or even between regions. So globalization 2.0 means that we will see a strong regionalization of global trade flows. 90% of the pumps on this planet are old. If you would replace all those old pumps by Velo pumps, you could save up to 246 terawatt hours only in the application of heating, ventilation and air conditioning. This corresponds to the capacity of 80 medium-sized coal-fired power plants. The next keynote will be held by somebody whose name is probably familiar to all of you in this room. Dear Mr. Hermes, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your kind invitation and for giving me the opportunity to speak about our current geopolitical situation and what this means for us as Europeans. The real challenge for the European Union lies in this bipolarity of the global order. On the one hand, looking at the political order, there can be no doubt that the European Union and its associated states must clearly take side with the United States. On the other hand, many European states, above all Germany, have strong economic interests in cooperation with China. China for us is a kind of frenemy, both economic partner and political rival. Diversification, yes, decoupling, no, must for these reasons our European guideline for the new phase of globalization. How do other sandwich states cope with the growing competition and tendencies not only of the two biggest economies in the world? We will be discussing this with our guests here at the industry conference. Thank you very much for this You're very welcome. interesting panel discussion. I kindly ask you gentlemen to position yourself behind the button, perfect, and press it very, very strongly when you are ready to officially start the hydrogen era. Three, two, one. Welcome to the stage, Professor Dr. Veronica Grimm. <laughs> I would like to focus a little bit on the energy perspective on the one hand within Germany and Europe, but on the other hand also, of course, the implications uh, that this has for the role Germany and Europe can play uh, worldwide in the future, and it was touched already um, in the discussions. Next panel discussion. Yes. 
we have had very early discussions because uh, I think thanks to our geopolitical awareness, I call that, and expertise, um, we started early in looking further than that, so preparing a complete gas shortage. So what we did is we built up a level plan here for this factory and uh, we can reduce further, I would say in extreme terms, even up to a level that we only would need 25% of the gas which we normally used to, to need.